In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a satellite animation slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've used one dark color background and then I've added the globe or the atlas here. And when I click, the satellite comes and then it keeps uh, transmitting the signals to the earth. You can see here, like this, you can add some text or image of your choice. And I've created one more slide with some different color combination. You can see here, I've just added something like this also so depending on your requirement you can just choose any color or any type of image you like to use it here and i've created one more slide where i have used some small you can see the stars in the background and without animation and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background for that right mouse click go to format background and i'm going to choose any color of my choice you can see here i can choose this uh, uh, blue gray color and then i'm going to add one uh, atlas or the world map here for that let me just go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here maybe depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size and then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it some light color here or you can use some light gray color also then i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d for my later use and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the world map here the world map i've just copied here this is the editable world map you can just change any color of your choice you can see here and let me just copy this one Control c and come to this particular slide and paste as a picture here you can see here paste as a picture and now depending on which side of the map you want to place it on the the globe you can just select that one for maybe you can if you want maybe americas you need to put or maybe the uh, middle east or the africa or the europe or the east a pacific east or whatever different uh, depending on your requirement you can just choose it so let me just put it something like this and then i'm going to select this the world map first and then hold the shift key select this or the oval shape you can see here go to format merge shape and i can just say intersect here all right i end up getting a shape something like this then i'm going to bring it here and put it on top of this you can see here exactly like this and then i'm going to select both of this and press ctrl g to group it now we have added the globe or the atlas here now it's time to add the satellite here so with the help of few shapes i'm going to draw the satellite for that first of all let me just go to view enable the guides and then i'm going to insert one more oval shape go to shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by again holding the shift key and then uh, make sure to align center align middle shape outline no outline shape fill you can just choose any color and then i'm going to cut it into half go to insert shapes you can see here i'm just going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle and place it exactly on half part of it so i'm just going to select this one and select this by holding the shift key go to merge shape and i can just say subtract all right so i'm going to place it here like this and then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw one rectangle you can see here maybe this much size and then exactly put it in the center all right so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size also so maybe i can just put maybe this much and shape outline no outline shape fill i can give the same color and i'm going to attach this with a small rectangle again press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size you can see here and put it exactly in the center and then i'm just going to make it more nearer with the help of this arrow okay let me just reduce the size a little bit here and then i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to add it at the top i can increase the size something like this and then i'm going to give a pattern fill for this pattern fill you can see here background you can just choose any color and i'm going to choose this one which is the large grid 
all right and the foreground should be white color all right and then what i'm going to do is again with the help of this small rectangle i'm going to just join it so let me just put it a small one you can just zoom in a little bit and put it here reduce the size all right you can see something like this let me just zoom a further one yeah and then i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate and add one more here and then i'm going to choose this one bring to front all right and this two one i'm just going to group it ctrl g to group it now i'm going to copy this one or duplicate this one press ctrl d to duplicate and then just bring it here exactly all right and then this one also i'm just going to duplicate and bring it down sorry this one let me just bring it down here all right we have to just make sure that it's equal spacing has to be there and bring this to front so this part is finished now i'm going to duplicate this one and i'm going to add one more bigger one you can see here something like this i can just increase the size all right and then you can add a few shapes also here so and one more shape i'm going to duplicate press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm going to give the same color hold the shift key reduce the size and put it exactly in the center of this or you can put something like this and then send this to back all right now you can add few more shapes here so let me just duplicate this again and i'm going to give the same color reduce the width and put it here you can see here something like this and press ctrl d to duplicate you can add a bigger one here and then you can add some small lines also to it and then you can connect this also with the help of this press ctrl d you can see here i've just connected this one and send this to back and then you can add few lines over here so for that again i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and go to format i'm going to reduce the height you can see here and width also i'm going to make it 0.05 and shape fill i'm going to give some dark color here and just place it press ctrl d to duplicate add three or four lines all right and then i'm just going to align it properly and group it ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and sorry and then let me just bring it here all right so with this uh, we have completed the design of the satellite let me just remove the guides and then i have to add one more which is missing go to insert shapes the antenna i want to use it so draw the antenna small one all right shape outline no outline shape fill again light color and again duplicate this reduce the size and put it here exactly in the center all right so you can see here this is finished now i'm just going to select all of this and press ctrl g to group it now our satellite is ready now it's time to add the animation now to add the animation i need to uh, take this uh, satellite out of the slide area let me just close the format shape here zoom out okay and then select this one and then using the the right arrow key take out of the slide size you can see here slide area and then i'm going to add the animations go to the animations enable the animation pane and i'm going to select this add animation go to more motion path and you can just scroll it down and see the left click on left and click ok and here i'm going to select this the red dot hold the shift key and increase it here till this part the satellite should come then double click this one smooth start you can remove and then click ok so you can see here if i play it comes something like this and then i want to add some signals here 
to add the signals what you can do is you can go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this r you can see here draw a smaller one and then just make something like this you can see here the other way shape outline i'm going to give the same gray color all right let me just zoom in and i'm going to place it here so let's see whether it is okay or not so still that is satellite is move, crossing that one so it has to be moved further so let me just see i think this is okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate put it here increase the size you can see here just hold the shift key and increase the size press ctrl d again hold the shift key increase the size and place it something like this again ctrl d increase the size and i'm going to place it here press ctrl d increase the size by holding the shift key add few more lines you can see here something like this all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold the shift key and select all these signals and press ctrl g to group it and then go to the animations and i'm going to use the wipe animation wipe animation effect i'm going to save from right so you can see it comes like this then this should happen after previous double click this one timings we can make it very fast medium and repeat until end of the slide click ok so let's see how it looks in the slideshow you can see here the world and when i click the satellite comes and then the signal started coming in so it keeps on coming in and you can add any text of your choice or any other image also you can add it here